One might think as the Grinch of productivity. I don't like apps, right? At this point, they're like, yeah, geez, this guy must, he must think apps stink. But the truth of the matter is I really do like apps and, and some of them that are very important to you guys are productivity apps related to task management. At number one, I actually have TickTick. -Tick. Now this is in no particular order, but for personal use from a free or premium standpoint, TickTick -Tick is exceptional. It is the first task management app I ever used in college and I actually really did enjoy it. The mobile app is exceptional. It has an amazing setup on desktop, on Mac, on web, and on top of that, it actually has a Pomodoro timer built in to the task management app, which I think is really convenient. I've never found an application that has been more universally accepted as like at least not bad. And a lot of people might complain about different things within any application, but if you're our personal person, that's, that's how everyone is. If you're a person who is trying to use this for their personal use, I definitely would recommend TickTick -Tick as an option on the free plan, but even more so, the premium's only $27.99 a year and they haven't increased their price in a long time. So definitely something I'd consider. The next option I would recommend is actually Todoist. This is an application that honestly I have always thought you know if I ever stopped having to use Notion for any reason this is not only the second application in my tool belt from like a understanding perspective but it is very deep in my heart and favorite I, I use it for quick task capturing on the go that structures through a make.com automation that allows me to be like hey let's read this text it captures task in Todoist and then I'm able to do it. So in this inbox section, you'll see that this is literally me telling myself these different things verbally and then it'll go into Notion. For those of you that don't know, there's a quick capture option and this is a recurring Monday task every week or if you put every Monday and I knew how this works, we can put it into specific projects like housekeeping or life and then you can add different tags to it as well. It is such a simple and quick application that I recommend it for personal and even small team use from a Todoist business perspective. The pricing on this guy may be different than TickTick -Tick because they recently raised their prices a little bit. However, it's still really good. So definitely check that one out. Now, the one that I actually have for Mac users would be Things. So Things is very similar to those other two applications you saw. However, it is a one-time purchase, which is very unique. And a lot of people utilize it for their on-the-go and desktop options. It, it has been around for a while and it went has gone through multiple renditions. And as you can see, a lot of people do like it. But I just gotta say that this application has a very big advantage in the sense that you can get the premium version, which is, sorry, you can get the application forever for a certain price. And I mean, they got a pretty cool marketing team with these aesthetics, let's be real, look at this. It's pretty dope. But no, in all seriousness, it's very similar to the other applications that I listed beforehand. However, it is just very exceptional for a Mac app. And if you're someone who's in that ecosystem, I would definitely give this one a try. Something that a lot of people should probably give a bigger try to would be Microsoft To Do. And that's because it is actually been upgraded a lot recently and is something that I used at my day job for a long time before switching to Asana, which is like the company standard. I really got to say this from a personal task management standpoint is pretty nice. I used it for recurring tasks in my day job and found that it was very effective at doing what I needed it to. It's completely free if you have a Microsoft account and the sections that you can make can be grouped up. You can have things like grocery lists very easily put in there, you can see what you've completed before, you can star things as important, and you have different things like reminders and due dates that are separate, as well as the ability to add files. And there's really not much limitations from like how much you can do since there is no upgradable version. It's just that like the baseline functionality might be a little bit worse than other apps. But it doesn't look awful and it is getting slightly better over time. So I definitely would check this out if you're somebody who is using the Microsoft platforms in your day to day or if you're an Outlook user at your job, because this also can integrate very easily into Planner and into Outlook by adding tasks from your emails into here. And last but not least, for those of you that are really into a fun way to do task and project management, you'll see that just like with a MMORPG, Habitica is a to-do list and habit tracking app that allows you to level up your character in this game. And for those of you 
who are interested in having a more tangible level up than just like, oh, I'm leveled up by checking off tasks since I'm getting better as a person. This gives you a tangible way to see it in that way. Thomas Frank has talked about this a lot, and I think for those of us that used to be gamers like me in the productivity app community, this, this is very exceptional. Uh, maybe the functionality isn't as robust as something like to do is like, you know, I gotta be in here and do task. That's like uh, take out the trash. And then when I go into here, you know, I can mark it as different difficulties, which is fun. I can add subtasks. I can have a due date to it. I can add tags, but it's gonna be a little bit more clunky than other ones. Uh, the mobile app's pretty solid, but once again, you're looking at this from a gamification standpoint. That's what you gotta be doing. You can be in a guild, you can do challenges, you can do all these different fun things. And if you're somebody who really needs that, I would definitely recommend Habitica as your task tracking application because it's kind of worth it for those of us who need that push. And for those of you that need the push to check out this video, just click on it, please.